one of the things that you have to learn to do is to go back and shear when you get a size of about your palm, which is this area right here. And the first thing that you got to do is to run your needle in diagonally, trying to catch any loops that haven't been cut. And you're actually taking it all the way down. There's one right there. You can actually see them when you look at them. They're like a dead head. We call them dead hands. They're, they're kind of shiny. But you want to do this, you know, go, go through the whole area and make sure that you've got none that are left. Another thing you want to do is change direction and then go back this way. And the reason why you go both directions is because the, the loops will come out as you do that. There's one right there. But you want, but you keep cleaning this and, and cutting it um, as you go so that it will be nice and smooth. Now the other thing you have to do is to define the lines. And you do that by going in here and, and um, separating the colors. And you see how much cleaner that line gets when you do that. And as you separate things, you pull them over to the side that they're of, of that color, so you got a nice clean line. But then this is where you use your, your applique scissors. Now I told you that they're bent angle, so you can hold them flat against your, um, your palm and cut. But the other nice thing about these scissors is that you use it to scrape the wool and get all the fuzzies out. And as you do this, you're kind of cutting in a circular motion, just catching the tops so that you're making it all. And you can, you might see some loops that you've missed. But you never want to cut out here on the edge because what happens is when you cut that, it's not, it doesn't have anything holding it up. So you're going to create a ridge when you punch that next line in. These will all be shorter. So you want to stay away from the edge and you don't want to gouge and take big chunks out.